Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Jack Dimmer going off um, after a head injury. He's down for quite a while to be fair to him. Uh, I think it's Willis. Jimmy Willis coming on. So hopefully. I like it, Josh. Fucking hell. What a finish. Come on. Honestly, I'm not joking you. It's from about from the edge of the box. And he's just rifled it home. Come on. I said last week I love Lewis Wig. He's proven why I love him so much. Come on. I've been here at the park with one. Bolton's deal. Uh, Bolton, I'll be honest, probably slightly better than two sides. Had an early free kick, um, a couple of chances as well. Uh, but it's Wickham that lead a half time. And uh, there's just the 43 that goal came from a corner. Lewis Wing does what he did last week and lets an absolute rocket into the top corner. Honestly, you will not find a better goal today, I don't think. He has absolutely left the keepers for dead. But, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we, we deserved it uh, later in the second half, but start of the second half, start of the first half, sorry. Um, start of the first half, we kind of dropped off a little bit, let Bolton come out and see what they're about. They'd had a few chances, uh, nothing much really to, um, to right home again about. Uh, Josh Gowen has been a pain in the neck for the uh, for the bottom midfield. I think it's their number, uh, bottom number 17. Um, every time Gowan goes near him, he's scared, and every time Gowan gets the ball, he'll just bring him down and the ref will give nothing. Uh, generally do not know how they haven't got a book in. Uh, a bit, little bit worrying um, before our goal though um, that Jack Grimmer had to go off with a head injury. Um, was down for, for quite a while. Hopefully Grimmer will be alright. Uh, Willis hasn't had to do a lot but what he has had to do, he's done it well. Um, definitely this is the game for the centre-back which is why we started with Farina on the pitch as well, as we did with Grimmer at the start, but obviously Grimmer had to go off, like I said. Um, hopefully, we can keep this positivity and get a few more goals, because Bolton, as they, show, as they show the last two games, they will not lie down. Yes, we're winning, but Bolton will not lie down. You know, they, have, they haven't scored 10 goals in two games for no reason. They have the attacking threat. Come on, boys! Come on, Lewis! Come on, come on. Oh! 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 Come on, TJ. That's it before you're one of the best saves you'll ever see. Then Bolton do what they've done all game and just grapple us. TJ DeBar runs down to the centre of the pitch. Battle, battle down. And the ref gives nothing, the ball um, the ball then moves up towards our box. We now have a corner. Come on, boys, let's see this out. It's all right. Go on. Yeah, oh, my God. Back from the game, on a massive three points um, for us. Um, I'll be honest, Bolton's probably started the better team in the first 20 minutes, but we found a way through them, and um, we found a way to stop them. Um, then... Just before half time, Lewis Wing was probably one of the best strikes you'll see from a Wickham player this season. Honestly, he's he's came on leaps and come on leaps and bounds since he's been at the club. Um, absolutely amazing strike. Um, if you get the chance to look at it, you'll want to look at it about six hundred times more. It's one of those goals that you know you know he's gonna you know he's gonna try it, but. You don't know what distance he's going to try it from. And um, Trafford was never going to save that. Um, but yeah, you know, it's we've, we've taken three points from a from a good bottom side. Um, a side that created a lot of chances. And a side that will be in the playoffs. 
trust me, they will be in the playoffs. They have enough quality. I saw enough from them to uh, to think they'll be in the playoffs. Um, second half, we sort of didn't really do a lot. We just tried to see the game out. Uh, probably the big talking point from the second half was the push on Cameron Jerome in the box, which, from a Wickham fan point of view, it was definitely a penalty. You know, Bolton should have had a penalty. Um, and if that penalty was given, the game would be turned on its head. But, probably be turned on its head, but... What I will say is, it's just the inconsistency, really, of referees. Um, you know, we've we had it, we've had it a few times this season where they've given half the stuff and not given the other half, and it's just what 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 do you give and how much do you give as referees? You know, it's we we des probably deserve the win, but Bolton will feel. Uh, I've done by with that decision, and I can 100% see why. Um, I think with um, Willis, who came off off the bench um, for us after Grimmer's head injury, I don't know where we found him, but he's he's so good. He can read the game so much better than players at this level, than a lot of players at this level can. He's He's always aware of where the ball is. He's always gonna intercept it if he can, and it's all it's very, very promising to to watch and very comforting to watch when your defenders are like that. As a fan, it's always he's always he's always he'll always be there at some point, whether it's to mop up at the back or whether it's to start the attack. And um, yeah, it's really positive from him. Um, so I can't wait to see more from him. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, just if any Bolton fans are watching this, uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and um, just share the video out. Um, but yeah, thank you for supporting this video and on the channel the last few weeks. It's been really good um, and really appreciated. I'll see you in the next video. Um,